Looks like the monsoon has started in earnest, at least here in Mumbai. And along with it, we are expecting a plethora of cars to rain down upon us in the coming few weeks. So in this video, we'll be talking about one such car. It's called the Citroen C3. We'll be talking about everything there is to know about the C3 in this video, such as its uh, dimension, its variance, its features, uh, the powertrain options, and of course the pricing and availability. So if you haven't yet, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Carwale YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Hello everyone, I'm Bilal and welcome back to Carwale. This is a second car from Citroen in India after the C5 Aircross and it sits under the 4 meter mark. According to the French car maker, it's a hatchback with an SUV styling. Now, where have we seen this uh, combination before, I wonder? In terms of dimension, the C3 measures 3981mm in length, is 1733mm wide and stands 1604mm in height. The wheelbase is 2540mm and the ground clearance is 180mm. In comparison, the C3 is longer than the Tata Punch with a longer wheelbase as well, but the Punch is wider and taller than the C3. And the available boot space in the Citroen is 315 litres. Here is how it compares with the other sub 4 meter hatchbacks in its segment. There are four basic monotone exterior paint options which include polar white, zesty orange, platinum grey and steel grey. Then there are six dual tone schemes which can be created by mixing any two of these four colours. So the platinum grey can be had with a zesty orange roof or polar white with a platinum grey roof and so on and so forth. Apart from that, there are three customization packs as well which are Zesty Orange, Platinum Grey and Chrome. In terms of design, uh, the India Spec C3 looks a lot different from the one sold internationally. But what are your thoughts about the design and the styling of the C3? We would definitely love to hear it from you, so let us know in the comment section below. When it will be launched, the Citroen C3 will be available in two trims, Live and Feel. The entry level live will only get one engine option and won't be available with a dual tone paint scheme either. Standard safety features on the C3 include dual front airbags, rear parking sensors, seat belt and high speed alert system. Meanwhile, the feel variant also gets speed sensing door locks. Moreover, both the live and feel trim will get manual AC, manually adjustable ORVMs, a digital driver's display and halogen headlamps. Over to the field trim, you'll get additional features like wheel arch cladding, LED DRLs, front skid plates and roof rails, chrome highlights inside the cabin, remote keyless entry, manually adjustable driver seat, tilt adjustment for the steering and all four power windows. There's also USB fast charging port and a 10 inch infotainment system. This floating infotainment touchscreen gets Bluetooth connectivity, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay four speakers and controls on the steering wheel. Now on the inside, there are two themes for your cabin. You can have it either in a funky orange or a dark grey theme. And what's the space and quality like, you might ask. For that, you'll have to wait a bit longer for a detailed first drive review right here on this channel. The Citroen C3 will be launched in India with just one petrol engine option. It will be a 1.2 litre three cylinder engine, uh, which will be offered in two states of tune. First up, the PureTech 82. Its power output, as the name suggests, is 82 PS, which is around 80 bhp, and the top figures are 150 Newton meter. It is paired with a five speed manual gearbox. The other tune is called PureTech 110. And similarly, it produces close to 108 bhp of power and 190 Nm of torque. It can be had with a 6-speed manual gearbox. And as for the fuel efficiency, the claimed figures are 19.8 kmpl and 19.4 kmpl respectively. 
for now, there will be no automatic option for the C3 at the launch, but we could expect one to be added at a later date. With the C3, Citroën will offer a standard warranty of 2 years or 40,000 kilometers, whichever is earlier. The India launch of the new C3 will take place on 20th of next month. Pre-bookings for it will commence from 1st of July. We expect an aggressive pricing for the C3 upon launch, which should be little over 5 lakh rupees for the entry-level naturally aspirated version. Meanwhile, the turbocharged C3 is expected to retail around rupees 6 to 7 lakhs at showroom. In terms of competition, the C3 will compete with the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Celerio and Wagoner, apart from some versions of the Swift and Tata Punch. So that's everything you need to know about the upcoming Citroen C3. Our detailed first drive review and video would go live on 15th of June, so definitely look out for that. And if you have any other questions regarding the C3 or any other upcoming cars, you can reach out to us on the website www.carwallet.com or any of our social media platforms. Until next time.